Well, Tropical Storm Isaias is expected to be out in the ocean when it passes by most of Duval County. Tonight, Troy Class is on your side. He's live in Jacksonville Beach, which saw dramatic impacts just three years ago from Hurricane Irma. Troy? Thank you, Heather. And right now, the uh, conditions are pretty fair right now, even though the ocean conditions have been rough throughout the time that we have been here this afternoon. Uh, as you can see over to my right hand side, people are still trying to catch a few waves. You can see some surfers off in the distance, but most people are sticking to the shorelines right now and just, you know, taking a walk and just enjoying the fairly nice weather that we're having at the moment. But Jacksonville Beach Ocean Rescue says that their lifeguards have been busy this weekend. They say that in a 10 hour period, they got 37 calls for service. Six of those were ocean rescues. And so again, they're again reminding people to be cautious if they decide to enter the water. Lieutenant Maxwell Irvanian is issuing a reminder that even the most experienced swimmer may deal with some rough seas over the next 12 to 24 hours. Anytime that there is severe weather, on the beach proper in the area of the beach proper it really brings a threat to not just you on the beach but even if you were to go into the water so dangerous ocean conditions with dangerous weather conditions equals a really bad scenario for any situation now right now the red flag is flying and lifeguards say that they expect that flag to be flying for today, tomorrow, and possibly even Tuesday as we kind of see the tides are slowly starting to creep in. High tide going to be at 830 tonight, like Lauren was mentioning earlier in the newscast. But we're going to keep an eye on the conditions here at Jacksonville Beach early tomorrow morning on Good Morning Jacksonville. We're live at Jacksonville Beach. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.